Casts in India by Baba Sahib Ambedkar Part 2 I need hardly to remind you of the complexity of the subject I intend to handle subtler minds and abler pens than mine have been brought to the task of unraveling the mysteries of caste but unfortunately it still remains in the domain of the unexplained not to say of the ununderstood I am quite alive to the complex intricacies of a hoary institution like caste, but I am not so pessimistic as to relegate it to the region of the unknowable, for I believe it can be known. The caste problem is a vast one, both theoretically and practically. Practically, it is an institution that portends tremendous consequences. It is a local problem, but one capable of much wider mischief, for as long as caste in India does exist, Hindus will hardly intermarry or have any social intercourse with outsiders and if Hindus migrate to other regions of earth indian caste would become a world problem theoretically it has defied a great many scholars who have taken upon themselves as a labor of love to dig into its origin such being the case i cannot treat the problem in its entirety time space and acumen i am afraid would all fail me if i attempt to do otherwise then limit myself to a phase of it namely the genesis mechanism and spread of the caste system i will strictly observe this rule and will dwell on extraneous matters only when it is necessary to clarify or support a point in my thesis to proceed with the subject according to well known ethnologists the population of india is a mixture of aryans dravidians mongolians and scythians All these stocks of people came into India from various directions and with various cultures centuries ago when they were in a tribal state they all in turn elbowed their entry into their country by fighting with their predecessors and after a stomach full of it settled down as peaceful neighbors through constant contact and mutual intercourse they evolved a common culture that superseded their distinctive cultures It may be granted that there has not been a thorough amalgamation of the various stocks that make up the people of India and to a traveler from within the boundaries of India the east presents a marked contrast in physique and even in color to the west as does the north to the south but amalgamation can never be the sole criterion of homogeneity as predicated of any people ethnically all people are heterogeneous it is the unity of culture that is the basis of homogeneity taking this for granted i venture to say that there is no country that can rival the indian peninsula with respect to the unity of its culture it has not only a geographical unity but it also has over and above a deeper and much more fundamental unity the indubitably cultural unity that covers the land from end to end but it is because of this homogeneity that caste becomes a problem so difficult to be explained If the Hindu society were a mere federation of mutually exclusive units the matter would be simple enough but caste is a parceling of an already homogeneous unit and the explanation of the genesis of caste is the explanation of this process of parceling the end